A new gardening program was unveiled at Her Majesty's Penitentiary today. The Phoenix Garden Project allows a select number of inmates to work in vegetable and flower gardens behind bars. But one of the program's participants took the opportunity to tell the minister and the media about his reality. Here now Zariana Kellant reports. It had all the hallmarks of a feel-good announcement. Flowers and sunshine, music, and a speaking rock, one Sheldon Hibbs took full advantage of. Basically all I have to say here is, uh, is uh, I, think, I think that's the biggest problem yeah. at the HMP right now is, is probably, you know, the living conditions and the fact that people don't get time to um, speak their voice. Hibbs is one of half a dozen inmates who help grow vegetables and flowers in a garden on the grounds of HMP, the Phoenix Garden rising from the ashes. Hibbs is here awaiting trial for second degree murder in the death of a 68 year old man two years ago. Still, behind these walls for more than a year now, Hibbs considers himself one of the lucky ones, able to participate when others in this antiquated facility cannot. This facility is not designed for long-term stay and is most definitely not designed for people that have mental health issues. If given an opportunity to become better and, you know, and maybe given some, some guidance, some more guidance and maybe some, you know, attention that they would probably make better choices. It's rare for media to get access to an inmate, rarer still for an event with the Minister of Justice behind bars. Hibbs knew and didn't let the moment pass. Surely not what John Hogan was expecting. Sheldon, sorry, I'm totally going off script here, so bear with me. Uh, you had some words already. I know you said you want to speak again. So I know how important this, this one project is for you guys. Uh, you spoke very eloquently about it. All three of you guys did. Uh, I know it's important. I know it's only a little piece of the puzzle. One piece in a very long list, a new prison topping it, but not solely that, Hogan says. I don't think people think the old way where we put people in here, lock them up and throw away the key and we've done our job in justice. Uh, it's the opposite now. You guys need to come in here. For whatever reason you're in here, we failed you in the first place and society failed you in the first place. Uh, but we need to help rehabilitate you, get you the things you need, the skills you need in life. Skills like reading and writing, and education, and in this case, gardening. Seeing what growth can happen with care and attention. Ariana Kelland, CBC News, St. John's.